And it's really, a, it's just a really great story. And it's a great company. So that's what got my attention, Bob, is that you have um, not only gravitated towards sales and operations throughout your whole career, but really you've landed in sales. Yeah. And, yeah. and so in our research, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, um, the other part that we uh, took note of is that 68% of the leaders we surveyed in March and April of this year, just as the global pandemic was upending most of our lives, 68% of our survey respondents said they were willing to change industries. And you've done that. Um, and you seem to have done it seamlessly. Has it, has it been easy? What, what, uh, what's well, your secret? I would tell you, you know, I started in the hotel business and, you know, spent time in gaming, you know, and then as I came through my career, it was really more opportunistic than anything. Um, and, you know, and explain spent, opportunistic. So, you know, like, and I left the, the hotel industry, um, you know, I, I went to consulting, but they were looking for somebody that could help them with engineering um this hotel and of office space within their within their own community so that they could reduce the square footage of space but take care of their internal customers the consultants interesting um and that was with uh, accenture um and then quickly i mean is there for a handful of years very successful with what we did um as an organization and then I was, you know, tapped by Delaware North to come work with them as a regional vice president. And, you know, I think at the time, you know, I was a little nervous. Do I do this? And what do I look like? And, but I was running such a, a sizable organization and with multi-units, I was a regional already. I just didn't think about it in those terms. Got it. And you were regional where at this point? At um, I was in Chicago. Okay. Um, and then I went to Delaware North and I had the Eastern part of the United States for their parks and resorts division. And I remember interesting, Carrie, I was nervous about going, you know, I met them and I was told to meet these guys, you know, uh, at the time, the president, Bruce Spears, he's the real deal. And he is, and he was, and he still is and <laughs> a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. um, and his thought process was, we're just doing the right thing for people, for our customers, for our employees. And our, our motto at the time was just do the right thing. And business comes to us. What was interesting when I was taking the job, I was a little nervous and Bruce said to me, what are you, what are, what are you nervous about? You manage people, food and beverage, you've done all these different things. I said, Bruce, I don't know anything about retail. A third of the business is retail. He said, I'll make, I'll teach you that in 30 days. And he was right, right? Because as I transitioned into that role and then ultimately went to Aramark and took on different roles there, I managed a lot of different things from facilities to bus maintenance to largest uh, houseboat fleet in the country and that really? reported up through me developing hotels to developing theme rides for Kennedy Space Center whatever it might have been that I was part of it all had to do with it's just business got it's it just looking at different metrics um you know where in the hotel business that we were in we look at ADR if you remember or rev par well in the gaming business we look at when per unit when per square footage and, you know, airlines look at the same type of thing um, and we rev manage the same way. So it really and very simply, it's like that's the profit loss. You know, what's our what are our expenses? What's our revenue? Where are we going to make profit? And what are the KPIs that you look at on a daily basis? So mm. and in landscaping, we just do the same thing. It's just a little different. Uh, the KPIs are a little different, but not too different. You'd be surprised. And KPIs for people who don't use that term is key productivity. Yep. Key performance indicators. Uh -huh. Performance indicators. Thank you. Yep. Um, and some people might call them different, but they are those metrics that you use, you know, whether it be revenue per man hour out on the road and, you know, each one of our crew, it, you know, they're, would they generate X number of, of revenue dollars? And we look at that as a, as a KPI, just like our salespeople, they generate X number of, uh, of new sales into our organization and, you know, they make X number of calls each week and so many and, and their conversion rates are Y. And we look at all those, uh, all that data to help them become better. Um, hold how, do you, how do you keep, how do you help them become better? Well, so like from a sales perspective, it's a process. It's about making sure you're moving business through the pipeline and you can see it. 
Um, and if a salesperson is organized, they spend parts of their day doing different things. And if they follow their process on an every single day, but when they stop following their process, you can see the behavior change in the, in the data and you can help repoint them or reposition them. Um, mm. And by the way, they're there to help them. We're not there to hold them accountable to hurt them. We're there to help hold them accountable so that they can stay in line. But if they have something in their way, it's an indicator to say, I need some help. Yeah, you're right. I'm not able to push my stuff out of, uh, you know, uh, qualifying into past qualifying um, because I have, I'm working on a major deal. And oh, that's, something okay, you, that's something I know you did in the hotel industry or hospitality industry. Sure. You, you, you did the exact, as a general manager, which is a, a business owner per se. Yeah, and that's a right. So you're, you, that's that transition of, okay, I know I did this. I know how to do it. It's the same personalities in sales, I would think, no matter what organization. And you know, I'm not a sales guy. <laughs> <laughs> but you're uh, having friends. And I think that's why the organization really liked the, what I brought to the table. Um, but I'm bringing process. I'm bringing accountability. I'm bringing an operational mindset to the business, right? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and by the way, that's you know, back to your point. You know, if you remember in the early days, we implemented business review, uh, WBR. Remember when the yes. business review every single morning, the GM would look and work with the sales teams to see what proposals were going out and help evaluate them. You know, so certainly I was trained to have a sales mentality. So while I was a GM, I was the chief growth officer of that hotel. And that's yeah. the way we looked at it. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, that's how I grew my career. And I've been successful with it. And, and by the way, I enjoy it. I think that's so interesting. So you, we started that conversation. You said, you know, I'm not a sales guy. And sometimes sales has a, a negative connotation, but ultimately we're all salespeople, especially if we own our own businesses or if you're at any level That's right. of the business. And so that uh, operations experience you have, is that helpful to a salesperson because the salesperson can then talk intelligently about not just selling the product, you know, like I'm a salesperson, but Hey, I can tell you why it's a solution to your problem. Well, that's exactly right. You're talking to a buyer that has a problem potentially, and you're helping them solve that problem. Right. And it's a consultative sale. And by the way, when you do that, you win and you become partners for, for a long time. 